what is a network meta-analysis and how does it differ from a meta-analysis? Yes, so in, in terms of the evidence-based pyramid, we start with like uh, observations and case studies until we get to open label studies, then blinded studies, uh, randomized studies, and then nowadays at the top are meta-analyses and at the very top are network meta-analyses. I think this is a problem because in meta-analyses, first of all, you only have the effect of studies, and if let's say you have 20 studies that you meta-analyze, it's like comparing the effect of 20 patients. Yeah? So you're boiling down the effect in, in larger samples to uh, just one study. However, the usual meta-analyses are randomly assigned, the two treatments, and then the studies are pooled together and an average is created. That's fine because within the study there is randomization. And network meta-analysis wants to have a hierarchy of treatments that may have never been compared. So it takes an indirect comparison and there are certain nodes. The biggest node is placebo because all drugs that are approved have to have at least two placebo controlled trials. And then you see if drug A is much better than drug B and drug C is only a little better than drug B, then A must be better than C. So mathematically you can do that, but one law must be abided or must be true and that is called transitivity, which means all things are being equal in these studies as if they were randomized against each other, meaning this populations are the same, the way the research is done is the same, the dosages are the same, the definition of um, severity of illness, outcome, everything is the same. Now these studies were conducted within 45 years and you know things have not been the same. And since the main comparator that everybody's compared against is placebo, it's very interesting to see that the placebo effect has dramatically improved over the last 45 years. So in the beginning, people were acutely ill, sugar was given, either there was a 4.2 to 4 point worsening or a 2 to 4 point improvement. So that's noise. Nowadays, the average improvement is 12 to 14 points on sugar. And with lorazodone, for example, one of the later studied drugs, it had to combat a placebo effect response of 16 points. So if you have so much improvement on placebo, then the drug effect that might still be pretty large looks smaller and smaller because placebo is rising to the top. And in a network meta-analysis, that would hit the newer treatments. And that's what you see in all network meta-analyses of, of uh, psychiatric medications, that the older drugs look better than the newer drugs because they have less placebo effect. So what we need to go back to, in my opinion, is large, good head-to-head -head studies to um, have our estimation on what's the relative efficacy, rather than doing indirect comparisons of studies that have never been conducted. Mm -hmm.